Hi, YouTube family. We're doing June monthly favorites. We are at the end of the month again, and I've got some great stuff to show you guys and share with you guys. A lot of these things aren't new things. They're things that I just have been really loving for the month and pulling out and going, yeah, I need to share those and show you guys. But some of them are very new to me, so I want to definitely show those to you too. I want to get right into the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'd love to have you. And please give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to start out with the Ofra Makeup Fixer. It has a very rosy scent to it, and I really like this, you guys. The product is really good in it. It does have some alcohol. Any fixers that you find, they will have some alcohol. So if you're, you know, a little sensitive to that, you might want to steer away from this. But during the summer months, I do use that. So I really have been enjoying that one, and I would recommend it to you. But it's a big, huge bottle. It's eight fluid ounces, and I thought it was it was great for the money. I've also been enjoying the CoverGirl Vital healthy elixir this has an SPF of 30 in it you guys and I have it in classic ivory I'm wearing it today I don't know if they're discontinuing this or not or if they're just gonna put it into new bottles because you know they revamped the whole line but I really have been liking it a lot I picked this up three weeks ago I think and have worn it several times over and over again because it's just really pretty it just sits really nice on the skin and so it's one that i'm going to go ahead and recommend to you guys i think that the wear time on it is really great i don't have any problems blending it i don't have any problems with it breaking up um it just really looks good on my mature skin and i'm enjoying it this is one of my fun finds for the month this is a new find to me this is the sally hansen's insta dry matte let me see what color this is Let's see, this is molten mauve. Of course it's a mauve, but it doesn't look mauve. It looks red. Well, I guess it has a little bit of mauve and it's got a metallic shift to it, you guys. But can you see that it's not super bright? It's matte on there and it dries so fast that you don't have to worry about your, you know, it drying and nicking something or whatever. And I just have been really enjoying it. Now, when I do my full manicures with a base and a top coat and all that, I can usually get about a week without anything chipping. This one I can get like about four days without anything chipping, but as fast as it dries, I don't feel like I'm putting so much time into it that I don't, you know, I can go back in and I can either touch up or I can just do it over again. So these are really fun if you guys want to try them out. Okay, you guys, these new little palettes from ColourPop, I got the Blue Moon and I wore this on camera one day and all you guys said, we want to see it, the look that you have on. I'm still going to do that, but it probably won't be till after my surgery and everything's over with. But these are such nice little palettes. So there's the Blue Moon one and then the It's My Pleasure one is the purple one I've used this to death and then the just my luck one is the green one I will say that the green one is probably my least favorite but it's only because it's not my colors but if I stick to the colors when I look at this and I go okay I think that has a blue undertone instead of the yellow undertone so green can go either way if I stick to the blue ones it still looks really pretty but the formula is really good in here. They build up so well. There's such a nice variation. I don't want to blind everybody here. There's such a nice variation in what they have done with these. And I would recommend if you like any of the colors in these, I know that they do have a new watermelon one out that's got a lot of um, reds and those colors in it. They have a neutral one. They also have a pink one. So this is just a really fun way to try out monotone um, colors and not break the bank. I think these are like $12 and they've been on sale a ton lately. So I would definitely say yes, yes, yes to those. In a lot of my videos recently, I've been getting comments asking about about these really fluffy brushes that I have. And forgive me, yes, they are dirty. I used them twice already, so they got really dirty. But these are two of the very fluffy brushes that I've gotten from IT. They're the IT Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta. And yes, they're pricey. So try to get your 20% coupon or whatever. But both of these brushes I absolutely love because of how fluffy they are on the end and how, you know, you get the densely packed part down here, but towards the end of it, how fluffy they are really helps you be in control with how much powder you do put on your face. I've been enjoying this one for when I do set underneath my eyes because it's so fluffy and so light that I can put just the bare amount of powder on 
there for that. And then I've been enjoying this one right now. I was doing my regular powder with this one, but I've been enjoying it for dusting all over my face for my bronzer and it doesn't lay down too much of that either. So I would recommend both of these. And yes, I know they're pricey, but for me to get a brush like this, like this brush right here, I've had for over four years and that baby's been washed a million times and there, it hasn't even lost one bristle on it. I've never even found a hair that I've ever had to get out of it. It just, it's just that good. So I really recommend that, that those two brushes from Ulta. The lipstick that I have on today on the outside is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. And this is in Lilac. Such a pretty color, you guys. This is such a good formula of gloss. Its opaqueness is just so pretty and it's got a super high shine. Not sticky, but it does have a really good lasting power on it. And what I did today is I just took it and I, you know, put it all over my lips. I didn't use a liner or anything. And then I just dotted a tiny bit of um, highlighter in in the middle of my lips and gave it that little bit of iridescent shine so really have been enjoying that and i also want to mention to you the eight hour infallible glosses from l'oreal i love these things you guys they are ones when it says eight hours if you don't eat in between there and of course you're going to drink or something but they really do stay put a really long time it isn't a sticky formula but it's a tiny bit heavier of a formula and they do have them in colors that aren't just like the sheer colors like I'm showing you now. So this one right here is called Plush. That's a pinkish color. And then this one right here is called Suede. So I really have been enjoying those over top of lipsticks or just on their own. We know you're rushing out the door. They're something that gives you a little bit of a shine, a tiny bit of hint of color and kind of brings your lips to life. And I have really been liking those. I wanted to absolutely mention to you this month, I used up, this is my new bottle and I used up my old one. This is the um, Hylamide. And again, this is from, uh, distributed by DCM, which is the parent company of The Ordinary. They just basically call this their high efficiency face, face cleanser. I've been using all the time lately in the heat, I've been using waterproof mascara, but I don't wanna rub my eyes and you know make my eyelashes more fragile or anything like that. This will take off any eye makeup I have, be it waterproof or not. It is so good. Now, it does have that little bit of oily feel to it. So if you don't want that, you know, you need to do your other skincare, make sure that you just do another cleanse with just one of your other cleansers. But this is so efficient. It is high efficiency. It is so efficient at taking off any of my waterproof eye makeup and I would highly, highly recommend that. Lastly, I wanted to talk to you guys about these. These are the LA Girl Hot Look Heat Palettes. So there's one that's called Aloha and there's one that's called Vacate Every Day. I can't really tell you which one of these is better because I love them both so much, you guys. Okay, this one has a lot of warm colors. The uh, Vacate um, Every Day has a lot of warm colors in it, but it also has a lot of really beautiful colors in it. You guys, this is very luxe packaging. It's extremely luxe. The display that they had it on said $14.99. I apologize because I didn't look at my receipt. If it's different, I will throw it up right here. But it has this humongous mirror in it. I'm not going to blind you with it, but it's got a huge mirror in it. The packaging is all plastic. It's not the regular cardboard that we get from so many. But this is a really, really luxe palette. The mattes in here are fantastic. They're very buttery and they blend so amazingly. But the stars of the show, 100% have got to be these metallics. You guys, they're like butter. And I'm not kidding. I just stuck my hand in there and it was like butter. There is almost like some sort of a cream product going on in there, you guys, because these colors are amazing. Those metallics are the most buttery. I cannot even begin to tell you what they're like. They're amazing, you guys. This is not a palette that I, I would mess around and say, oh, it's good, it's okay, blah, blah, blah. No, it's fantastic. I have never, even Juvia's Place, I've never seen a metallic formula like this, the shimmer, the metallic formula in here. It has to be, it, it is almost like cream shadows. 
they are that luxurious and that nice. And what's so nice about having cream shadows on a mature woman is that it doesn't accentuate the texture as much. And I even find that with these metallics, that since they are very creamy and they're very buttery, I can go ahead and wear them. And I don't even ever see any sort of texture, um, but I'm not gonna stop wearing my metallics no matter what. But yeah, I really have been enjoying that. Now I'll give you a swatch of the other one. The other one has a little bit cooler of a vibe to it. It has more of a rounded out effect of all of the colors. Um, it's The pans are huge in these. They're just absolutely huge. And this one has a lot of the blues, the purples. It just has a lot of really beautiful rounded out colors. I'm in love, you guys, with these. I think they're really good. I'm so glad that the price point is there for everyone. And the quality of it is just, it's outstanding. I'm just... I'm blown away. And you know what? I am going to say this, and this is just going to probably cause everybody to go, what? No way. But I like this formula as much as I like Juvia's Place. And you guys know how much I like Juvia's Place. It is saturated like that. They're buttery. They're blendable. They work so well. I mean, you can just... Oh, they're so nice. But I will tell you that if you're working with the metallics, do use your finger, a sponge tip applicator, or use a stiff bristled brush if you're gonna do them and you're gonna try to blend them. Because really they are very stark and they are very um, bright and bold in their colors. They're just so saturated. So definitely make sure that you know, um, you're know you using a tiny bit and you're blending and blending and blending if you're going to use the cream where you're wanting to blend together. That's the only drawback that I could ever see from it. But for me, that's not a drawback at all. So these are just, wow. They're just wow, you guys. I couldn't believe them. I was not expecting anything. I was expecting them to be like their past shadows, but they really did such a good job on these. So that is it for June monthly favorites. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to give it that thumbs up that I asked for. If you wouldn't mind, please. Do you guys have any favorites that you have found this month? I just really like hearing from you guys and finding out if I'm missing out on something. So let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that you guys have been enjoying for the month that I need to know about. I love you guys so very much. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're all in good health and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye you guys.